طيب let's continue with segment number two which is basically a tutorial okay so we're gonna talk about problem four nine again where we have a reversible liquid phase isomerization A goes to B is carried out isothermally in a 1000 gallon CSTR the reaction is second order in both the forward and reverse directions the liquid enters at the top of the reactor and exits at the bottom experimental data taken in a batch reactor shows the <coughs> CSTR conversion to be 40% the reaction is reversible with KC given as 3 at 300 Kelvin and the delta H reaction is minus 25,000 calorie per mole so remember we've said that the given KC here the given value of KC is for the reaction as given right and however the KC which I, which I will end up with and the rate low is has a different expression because it's diff based on the different stoichiometry okay assuming that the batch data taken at 300 Kelvin are accurate and that E the activation energy equals 15,000 calorie per mole what CSTR temperature do you recommend to obtain maximum conversion so the question is at what temperature we should operate the CSTR okay of course you know the relationship between KC at a given temperature with KC at any other temperature from Van Hoff relationship and the relationship between K and KC okay so let's solve this problem it says use polymath to make a plot of X versus T the question is does it go through a maximum if so explain why so plot x versus t where t is the cstr temperature of course i'm operating isothermally right so we have one t in the feed the same t is inside the reactor the same t is existing in the reactor so you have one t through the system however what i'm going to do every time i'm going to try to operate at a different temperature and then see what would be the x at the exit of the reactor okay so does it th go through the max okay so of course i have prepared you for this question by asking lots of other questions correct tamam and then let's see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct a table okay you're gonna construct a table where you're gonna vary t the temperature and then when you vary the temperature you calculate all the other parameters and variables so for example after deciding on t of course t should start from 300 kelvin down to whatever temperature you want okay um, for example here i'm varying it from 290 kelvin to 325 Kelvin and then calculating the given KC this is the given KC or I can calculate for from the given KC I can calculate the KC in the rate law or I can just directly calculate the KC in the rate law okay so that's I have two options and then also I can calculate the equilibrium conversion it's not required but I calculated the equilibrium conversion where did you calculate the equilibrium conversion from of course I calculated it from the KC expression right so you know that kc equals the concentration of b at equilibrium right to the power 2 divided by concentration of a at equilibrium to the power 2 as what we got from the rate law right and the value of kc is the kc in the rate law okay okay by the way you can also use the given kc but then the expression will be cb at equilibrium divided by ca at equilibrium that's the same okay so let's stick to this and of course you know what c 
CB at equilibrium is, what CA at equilibrium is. So for instance, we know that CA at equilibrium equals CA naught one minus X at equilibrium, right? And we know that CB at equilibrium will equal CA not at XC at equilibrium. Again, Shabab, I'm just skipping steps. Please do not skip steps. Solve it uh, the proper way. And then you can substitute this in the KC expression and solve for XE. Okay. So that's the value of XE. Type. What about KA? Well, you can find the value of KA from Arrhenius equation, right? So that's not big deal. And then you can find the value of x, correct? And that is from the design equation, exactly from the design equation. Okay, these are some extra information that I have put in my Excel to help me out a little bit. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually vary t right you're gonna vary t and then you check the value of x so you're gonna vary t and check the value of x and then you're gonna plot x versus t but before we go there let's look at how kc is changing with temperature and how k is changing with temperature okay so let's look at k the red one here ka okay obviously as i increase the temperature the value of ka increases because the kinetics become faster right the rate of fraction become faster what about the value of kc what about the value of kc as i increase the temperature the value of kc decreases that is because the, the reaction is exothermic right and you know, for an equilibrium exothermic reaction, for a reversible reversible exothermic reaction, if you increase the temperature, the equilibrium is shifted backward. Therefore, the value of K and the value of Kc decreases. Five. Okay, after we varied the T, we got different X. Now we have this plot. So you can see that we get low X at low temperature and we get also low x at high temperature and we have an optimum value optimum value so there's an optimum operating temperature which is 304.7 kelvin which gives you the maximum possible conversion which is 0 0.4302 okay so what explains this what explains this behavior in order to explain this behavior, probably I'll need to plot few more graphs. So what am I plotting here? I'm not only plotting X versus T, which is the red one here, but I'm also plotting XE. Shabab, it's always useful to plot XE whenever you have a reversible reaction to see where you stand from the equilibrium conversion and also i am plotting the rate of reaction so at low temperature at low temperature here let's take this value here at low temperature at low temperature the rate of reaction is very slow right the equilibrium conversion is very high but the rate of reaction is very slow so we'll end up with small conversion a conversion that is far from the equilibrium conversion however at large temperature at very high temperature actually the equilibrium is shifted backward right toward the reactant so i have very small equilibrium conversion the kinetic is fast the rate of the forward reaction is fast the rate of the 
reverse reaction is fast as well okay but of course the difference between them is small right see the rate of reaction is approaching zero right the rate fraction is approaching zero because once you approach equilibrium the rate approaches zero but of course you know that the rate of the forward reaction is fast and the rate of the reverse reaction is fast at high temperature but that doesn't help me because the rate overall is small anyway so at large temperature although the kinetic is fast okay but the equilibrium shifted backward the equilibrium conversion is small therefore the obtained conversion is small as well because you cannot exceed the equilibrium conversion so what's the optimum operation the optimum operation would be at somewhere in the middle okay okay so you gotta solve this at home and then i'm sure you will appreciate this problem more and of course we have one last problem in the tutorial which i leave it to you to do it at home okay with this we finish the lecture which is lecture 27 and see you in lecture 28 have a great day